Welcome back to our devotional video. Uh, today we are actually starting a new book. We are going to be taking a look at 1 Peter. Uh, this is a letter written by uh, the Apostle Peter, you know, uh, the one who denied Jesus, that one, but also the one who preached on Pentecost and the one who would go go on as uh, Christian tradition has to uh, to die as a martyr and be hung upside down on the cross because he didn't think that he was worthy to be hung and killed the same way that Jesus was. So he said, flip me upside down and they obliged. It's that same Peter. And he is writing to uh, to Christians who are facing persecution. Uh, you know, this is early church. And so, uh, you know, as we know throughout history, especially once we get to emperor like uh, Nero, uh, who hated Christianity, uh, persecution got more intense at times. And, and so Peter is, is giving uh, encouragement to Christians who are in the midst of persecution. And so uh, that is uh, an important uh, thing to understand and remember as, as we go through First Peter is to remember what that context is. And we'll even see that come up as we look at these first few verses in, in chapter 1. And so uh, for this video, we'll be looking at First Peter 1, uh, verses 1 through 12, but specifically in that middle section, uh, a few verses from that middle section. Peter's talking about, um, you know, being being persecuted and and then he says in this you will rejoice though now for a little while if necessary you have been grieved by by various trials so that the te uh, so that the tested genuineness of your faith more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ though you uh, have not seen him you love him Though you do not now see him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. This is a really interesting section, and what I want to focus on is where it talks about uh, tested genuineness of your faith. Uh, you know, because again, this is uh, talking about persecution and, um, you know, how to respond as Christians, and it has that testing. And my mind, when I read this, just went to uh, when I when I teach eighth grade uh, confirmation, uh, talking about in the Lord's Prayer, uh, lead us not into temptation. And with that, kind of dive into, uh, well, what is temptation? And who does that? Obviously, it's the devil, and the devil tempts us to sin. So tempts for bad, and God tests for good you know, for the strengthening of our faith. And so it's just really interesting to, to see uh, as as Peter is speaking to Christians or writing to Christians who are in the midst of, of trials, of, of difficulties. He's saying, hey, you're, you're being tested. Your faith is being tested. But then drop down to that last little bit, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Obviously, this is, you know, what we this is the most important thing and and obviously it's not saying that you know by you enduring these testings that uh, you know that's how you're obtaining the salvation of your souls but but when we are tested in our faith when when we're when we go through something difficult and we have to rely on God even more that just more solidifies our faith it it makes it stronger, and it makes it able to withstand and endure things. I love how he compares uh, more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire. You know, there's a, a certain point at which gold is, is going to, uh, as it says, perish. Uh, it's going to be ruined. But this kind of testing is, is something that is going to uh, strengthen our faith and ultimately bring us to the outcome of our salvation. Uh, our, our faith in Jesus uh, is, while it's not fun, while nobody wants to go through uh, trials and have their faith tested, brings us uh, closer to, to the salvation of our souls, right? You know, the, the, more that we, uh, the more that we are tested, the more that we are in need of relying on God, the more that we have to trust that God is going to bring us through it and gives us more certainty, more assurance that 
that Jesus is who he says he is, that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and that our hope alone is found in him. So it's a message that though we're not going through the same persecution as the early church, we still go through trials. And God uses those to, to test our faith and to, uh, to make it all the stronger. Praise be to God for that. And may he bless the rest of your day.